the Mobile Tensile Delta, one of the great natural wonders in the world. And now, host of the 2015 Alabama Bass Trail South Divisional Qualifier. Recently, Governor Robert Bentley on hand for the formal announcement that we'll see better than 200 teams from Alabama and the Southeast take part next May. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think it's brought a lot of excitement to everybody. I mean, it's, you get around the other fish, that's basically what a lot of people's talking about, you know, and uh, it's, it's cool you get to compete for a lot more than you would in a local, local event and just get to travel the state also. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I fished other tournament trails, you know, at a professional level. And to see the revenue that it brings to the cities that, that we go to and the host cities, it's, it's, it's just an unbelievable thing. When we have these tournaments, it brings people in and they spend money. And tourism is good, clean money. Uh, and uh, we, have, we, we had about $11 billion of tourism money in the state of Alabama this last year. And, and, it, and it's growing every year. And while the Delta seems like a natural for any fishing tournament, having the Bass Trail wasn't always a done deal. It took collaboration from city, county, and state officials to make it happen. The captain's meeting will be held in Sareland in Mobile County, and the tournament kicks off at Live Oak Landing in Baldwin County. It really was just, hey, let's just, let's just pull this thing together. Let's get all these moving parts. Uh, together and, 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 and let's get it done and we did. You know having the Mobile Delta on the Alabama Bass Trail is extremely important because it does show the diversity in our lakes and th you know throughout the state of Alabama there's not another Mobile Delta on the st in the state so it's extremely important that we showcase the whole state of Alabama. Pick up the magazines uh, uh, that promote sporting uh, activities across the country and you now you see in the back of that magazine an advertisement for the Alabama Bass Trail and that's what we're about you know and it's been a vision that uh, that that was planted many years ago and now to to see uh, it come to you know to fruition is, is a lot of fun.